Hello friends, my name is Tint Sager. Welcome back to IELTS 2. Today I will explain about writing introduction with an example. In the last video we had analyzed about three main components in an introduction. They are general statement, rephrasing and thesis statement. So today we will analyze how these are written. So dear friends, if you haven't subscribed to my video, please subscribe it and share it. Look at this question. Overpopulation in many major urban centers around the world is a major problem. What are the causes? How can it be solved? So here the question is asking about two main things. Causes and solutions. So this essay is a discussion essay. Here your opinion is not asked. Instead you are told to explain two main things. Causes and solutions. Now we will see what is the problem. The problem here is overpopulation. So the question is asking about overpopulation in major urban centers. So these are the main keywords here. Overpopulation, urban centers and problem. So now we will see how the answer is written here. Rapid growth of urbanization has accelerated the movement of people to urban areas in search of greener pastures. So this is a general statement. Urbanization means a common phenomenon that is happening around the world. That means people are moving to cities. So it's a general statement. We are talking about a general phenomenon, a common thing here. Next, this movement. The word this is very important here because this word is connecting this statement to this statement. So this word is standing as a connective here. So this movement has resulted many urban areas getting overcrowded. So here we are telling the problem. The problem is here overpopulation. So we are telling the problem overcrowded. The same thing. The last, the thesis statement. This essay short delve into the possible reasons and remedies in the following paragraphs. So this statement clearly tells what you are planning to write in the body paragraphs. So the examiner is getting the idea that you are going to explain the reasons and remedies. So he goes to the body paragraphs with an expectation that you are writing the reasons and solutions in the following body paragraphs. Now we will see some important things in this answer. First of all, there are no cliches. What does it make cliche? Cliche means many students start writing their answer with usually nowadays, these days. So these are very commonly used to terms. So better avoid this in your answer. Next, there are no anecdotes, there are no quotations. Just write a normal statement. Next, most important thing is vocabulary. We have here used many vocabularies. Urbanization, greener pastures. It means better opportunities and movement, overcrowded. So these are some better vocabularies that you are getting good mark for. Next, we are using a particular pattern that general to particular. Here we are talking about urbanization. It's a general thing. It's a common thing happening around the world and we are coming to a particular area. Reasons and remedies. So this is the way our introduction should always go. General to particular. Next important thing, it's very clear and precise. It is just within 50 words. So don't try to make a lengthy introduction. Just make up to 50 words. So friends, I have written three different ways of writing a thesis statement. We will see this. This essay shall delve into the possible reasons and remedies in the following paragraph. So we have already seen this in the answer. So here the writer is saying that he will be discussing the reasons and remedies in the following paragraphs. He is not mentioning what remedies or what reasons he is going to explain, but just giving a hint. Next one, there are mainly three reasons and solutions for cities getting overcrowded. Here he is telling that there are mainly three reasons and solutions. So the examiner is getting an idea that this person is going to explain about three reasons and solutions. This is also a possible way. Another one, better facilities provided in cities have been attracting people and an effective scheme to uplift the life of people in rural areas can put a stop to it. It's more difficult and a lengthy one. Here 
the writer is telling about better facilities but he is not mentioning what kind of facilities how it is attracting the people but just giving a clear hint to the examiner that he is going to talk about facilities next he is talking about effective scheme to uplift the life of people in rural areas here he is not telling what scheme and how it will uplift the life of people but just giving a clear hint that he is going to talk about effective scheme so this is an important way to write a thesis statement but there is a risk in it because if you write a thesis statement like this once you start your body paragraph there can be repetitions of the same words or the statement so please avoid it so if you are good at using vocabulary you can use this method i will also give you some vocabularies for delve into you can use other words like shall look into search into examine the reasons and solutions investigate into or you can use passive voice also for example the reasons and solutions shall be discussed in the following paragraphs so dear friends when you write an essay don't spend lot of time for writing introduction try to use maximum 5 minutes if you are using lot of time for introduction and left with less time for body paragraphs and conclusion it will affect the total performance so better spend less time for your introduction or you can do one thing just leave the space for introduction then go to the body paragraphs brainstorm bring ideas then complete it then go to the conclusion complete it then come back to the introduction till then or meanwhile you will have some ideas in your mind how to make a better introduction for example when authors write stories or script for movies they are not giving the name at the very first they complete the story or the script then they give a suitable name so you can also do the same thing for your essays so dear friends in the coming videos i will be explaining about writing an introduction for an opinion essay till then bye